You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to cable viewers at Brockton Community Access and in the community, Lynn Smith. Lynn, nice to see good you. Good to see you, Mark, as well. Lynn, you're always doing good things. This is your work hat. It is. It's my day job, it's your I day call job, it. job, and you're here during work time <laughs> to promote a wonderful event that's coming up that Old Colony Elder Services is doing. And I love the title, Moving Heels. For Meals on Wheels. That's right. Isn't that great? You know, a lot of people uh, think of us as the Meals on Wheels people, but we serve Greater Plymouth County from Avon all the way down to Wareham and from Eastern all the way over to Plymouth. 22,000 consumers we took care of last year. But Meals on Wheels is one of the most beloved programs. We serve 1,600 meals every day, Monday through Friday. Mm, that's impressive. Um, I know you helped out my parents. Um, my father still didn't want to eat his vegetables, sorry. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. he always liked the dessert, okay? And um, Meals on Wheels has taken a little bit of a hit from the federal government. So now you, you, you guys are a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. You have to fundraise anyway. Mm -hmm. But this will help. It's a 5K road race and a walk. So you don't have to run. You don't have to be in, in shape. That would be more like me. <laughs> Sunday, April 29th. That's right. We start early at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. so that you can get your exercise in and then go to Sunday service if you'd like. And we try to do it sort of halfway between Brockton and Plymouth. So it's in Kingston at the Silver Lake Regional School. You know, the high school and right. the middle school are right Which next right door to each other. Which is right on 27 if you go the back Right line. on 27. Good, good, yeah. good place to start because you just gave us your coverage area and you're all the way down here and all the way up here and Avon and Easton mm -hmm. and everything else. Um, and you've done this, this has been done before. This has been done before. I think this is our third annual mm -hmm. 5K. And what's nice is we usually get a, between 100 and 125 runners, so it's not like a huge, um, confusing situation. And the course is very easy, and it's mostly through a residential area in back of the school. So it's a great race to do sort of as you start to warm up your legs and warm up uh, for the season. So for GPS purposes, if you're a GPS person, Put in 260 Pembroke Street, Kingston, and that will bring you right to the uh, location. And we'll have a tent set up, and we'll check folks in through South Shore Race Management. They do the race for us, uh, and then they do all the timing for us. And then at the end, we have light refreshments, you know, a banana, a granola bar, some water, and we have swag bags um, for all the runners to take home with them. You have a free t-shirt, refreshments, gift bag. If, if you, you know, you, you have an entry fee, $25 yep. for an adult, Correct. 20 for students, eight, 11 to 18, 15 for 10 and under. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to sponsor, I see all your sponsors here on the flyer, but you can always use more. You want to talk to uh, Chris McLaren at mm -hmm. OCES. Mm -hmm. The number uh, we can put up is CM. C L A R E N, mm -hmm. Chris McLaren at O C E S M A dot org. A phone number if you want to do the old fashioned phone call is 508 584 1561, extension 309. And I see there are prizes for the best costume worn by a child under 12. Right. What we do to make it fun for the kids, you know, all kids love to dress up, whether it's Halloween or whether it's an event in school. So we encourage the youngsters to come dressed as their favorite food. Mm -hmm. So we have chicken tenders and we have pineapples and we have, um, you know, fruit bowls and grapes and that type of thing. And there's a wonderful sponsor called Mickey's Adventures. Mm -hmm. They um, help folks plan uh, Disney trips. Uh, and so they give a gift bag for the best uh, costume. And our friends at Sullivan Tire also provide a, a, a gift certificate um, as a prize that might go to one of the parents. But you know, Mark, when you run an event like this, we try to keep the registration low and reasonable. Mm -hmm. Um, it's we couldn't do it without our sponsors. So we have wonderful, wonderful sponsors: Mountain One Bank, Lindley Food Service. They're the ones who actually make the meals um, for the program. Boston Medical Center, Health Net, Senior Care Options, Brockton Adult Day, right here in Brockton. 
S and M Transportation right here in Brockton, Abbott Care, Anodyne, South Shore Bank is a new sponsor this year. Home Health Services, Best of Care, Greater Brockton, uh, Boston Home Health Care Services, Paula Schlosser, who is on our board, and she's an elder law attorney uh, from West Bridgewater, and a brand new sponsor this year is National Grid. So we are really delighted that these corporate um, citizens have stepped up and shown such goodwill towards Meals on Wheels because, you know, it's not just the nutrition. For some people, it's socialization, yes. and for some people, it's a wellness check. We had two Meals on Wheels drivers this year, one in Wareham and one in Plymouth, who rang the bell and their consumer didn't come to the door, and they thought quick on their feet mm -hmm. and got an ambulance there in both instances just in time. So it's all about the wraparound services so that our folks can stay living at home as independently as possible for as long as possible. And the people that deliver the meals, they're, they're volunteers. They're all volunteers. We have over 450 uh, volunteers that help us out. So the volunteers, we couldn't do it without them. April 29th, you can call me or call Old Colony for information. If you want to register as a runner or a walker, go right to SouthShoreRace.com. You can sign up right there. You can pay your $25 online. If you want to be a sponsor, give me a call, 508-584-1561. Ask for Lynn Smith. I'm infamous, and I'd be happy to uh, take it. And, th you know, that, that whole sense of community at OCES and caring for people will um, follow into June when we do our March on elder abuse. That was I was going to ask you about. We have, I got the two minute cue. I'm not sure if we still have two minutes anymore, but mm -hmm. it's Thursday, June 14th, the right. March Against Elder Abuse at the Brockton Council on Aging, right on Father right. Kenny Way. Right. Kick off at 12, march down Main Street to the OCES offices. Right. You got speakers, you got refreshments, you got a light lunch. That's where you work with the police op department, Brockton Police, the mm -hmm. Plymouth County DA's office, the Plymouth Police Relief Association. Rotary, Club of Rotary is going to okay. sponsor our refreshments this year. And, you know, we honor people in the community who try to help our elders when they're at their most vulnerable. So maybe we'll talk about it later on oh, yeah, in more depth. But save the date. June 14th, rain or shine, we're tough. 12 o'clock, we leave the COA. We march up Main Street. We go back. We have our program, our pizza, our awards, and it's a great time. And I think it's Flag Day, so you can raise the flag there you go. For, for seniors. Well, we'll put our banners up like we did last year. There you go. So anything else, Lynn, do you want? I mean, the OCES website is ocesma.org. Correct. So all of this information is on it. Correct. The race, you go to the race, race wire, is that what you said? Uh, Southshorerace.com. Okay. And you can sign up as a runner or walker. So just remember the dates, April 29th for the 5K Moving Heels for Wheels on Meals on Wheels. I, and then June 14th for our March Against Elder Abuse. Well, Lynn, thank you for doing what you're doing. It's a great fit with you over there. Mm -hmm. We love to have uh, OCES host community options mm -hmm. here on Brockton Community Access to get the word out and just all the enthusiasm that you bring to the table. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.